when you talk about uh, shying away from controversy, uh, there are reports that Speaker Pelosi is considering this process wh which would deem that the bill is passed without actually taking a vote. You must have spoken about that with her. Is that in the plans? Well, I don't know if that's in the plans. Now, there are two or three different ways to do this. That is one of the ways that's being discussed. And that's the way that's been used at least 100 times since I've been here in the Congress. And I've only been here uh, 18 years. But, so but, this is but, nothing unusual. Well, it, but given the controversial nature of this bill, and you just admitted that it's, it's controversial, wouldn't it be fair to the American people to let their elected representatives put it to a vote? Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. They've not if it's that. deemed. The not Senate, if not if it's de not if she not if Speaker Pelosi deems that the bill has passed, there wouldn't be a vote, would there? So there's been a vote in the Senate. They got six the votes for this. What we will be deeming is that those six the votes that the people got, we will say on the House side, we deem that as having been passed. So they got the six the votes. We got two and twenty votes for our bill in the House. The only thing that we're voting on now are the things we call the fixes, the reconciliation. And so that's the part that we'll be voting on. What we'll be deeming already got 60 votes. You don't think that's political sleight of hand, smoke and mirrors? Well, you may want to call it sleight of hand, but the fact of the matter is, uh, just because you labor it, that doesn't mean uh, that we didn't have it before. We've done that, as I said, more than 100 times since I've been here. And so this is nothing unusual. There's no trickery here at all. It is just that you do this process uh, in order to facilitate uh, the effort. Well, you know, pardon my skepticism, but you're talking about a trillion dollar bill. You're talking about rearranging maybe a sixth of the American economy. It would seem to be unusual to enact this into law without a vote in the House of Representatives. Well, let's get away from the trillion dollar bill. We aren't talking about a trillion dollar bill here. Remember, uh, we are still talking about the bill that was passed by the Senate. And last time I checked, the score on the Senate bill was like $850 billion. It was, we did a trillion dollars on the House side, and that's not what we're voting on. We're voting this, we will deem passed okay. the Senate bill, uh, which was much less than that. One more question, though. You're the majority whip. You're in charge of counting votes. It would seem to me that if you had the votes in the House to pass this thing outright, you would put it to a vote. We are going to put it to a vote. As I said, we are still waiting on the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office, to give us its final uh, number on what this thing will cost. We are not asking our members to make a commitment to us until we can tell them exactly what they're committing to. So the will is there to pass this. We still must get the numbers in order to be honest with our members. Congressman James, uh, James Clyburn of South Carolina, the majority whip in the U.S. House. Thank you.